All right, guys, welcome back to Easy Ass Engineering. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys and show you an example, a trickier example on depreciation. If you haven't seen my previous video where I did four more simple examples on each depreciation method, please check it out. I'll leave it at the link in the description below. So let's read the problem. The depreciation schedules for certain equipment has been arrived at by various methods. The estimated salvage value of the equipment at the end of its seven year useful life is $700. Identify the resulting depreciation schedule. All right, you'll see why this is tricky. It's basically asking you to determine each, for each column, for each schedule, there's four, four schedules here, A, B, C, D, which one is, is um, determined by straight line method, which one is determined by double, sorry, declining balance, which one is by double declining balance, and which one is found using S O Y D, sum of years depreciation. So let's write our knowns as usual. The we're given the sal salvage value after seven seven years. We're given the actual life of the object, which is seven years. And that's it. Now looking at these columns here, you can pretty much see column A, the values are all the same. The depreciation at each year is the same. The asset decreases by 1329 every year. And we know that from the previous video that that corresponds to the straight line method right away. This is the straight line method. And remembering from the last video, the formula for the straight line method for a dep the depreciation amount at any year is equal to the original cost minus the salvage value over the useful life. And we have this value, it's 1329. We also have S and we also have N, so we can find the original cost of the asset. So let's cross multiply here. We get P is equal to 1329. N is 7 plus salvage value 700. And we get a nice value of 10,003. We have an extra note, a variable here to play with, an extra known. So now we can pretty much go through this is done. We can go through each method now and get their depreciation formulas and work on year one, I guess. So let's, for example, let's do the SOYD method. From the previous video, the formula to calculate SOYD. Change color. SOYD. The depreciation at any year for the SOYD method is P minus S multiplied by useful life minus the time we're evaluating at plus one over the SOID sum of years depreciation, which is found with another formula equals one plus the useful life multiplied by the useful life over two. And in this case, equals 8, 1 plus 7, times 3.5, 7 over 2. And that gives us 28. So let's just evaluate at year 1, see what we get. So 10,003 minus salvage value multiplied by 7 minus the year we're evaluating plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1. So we have multiplied by 7, it stays the same, over 28. And, and doing this calculation gives us a value of 23.25. And that is for year one, the amount of depreciation, which corresponds to column B, because year one, same value. So now we know that this is obtained by the SOYD method, the whole column. Now we're left with DV and DDB. Let's go for the double declining balance method. Uh, sorry. Double declining balance. 
we know that the formula for double defining balance from last video is 2 over n times book value at the previous year. So evaluating at year 1, 2 over n, 2 over 7, book value at t minus 1, t is 1 in this case, so 1 minus 1 is 0, book value at time 0, which is the original price of the, of the uh, asset, $10,003. D1 is equal to 2 times 10,003 over 7, 28.58. And there you go. That corresponds to column C. And by default, the last one, it has to be declining balance. How do we do that? Just, just, just in case, just for fun. Um, DT for declining balance is depreciation rate in, in decimal form multiplied by book value at the previous year. Uh, to find depreciation rate, you can find the formula in, in uh, books, for uh, textbooks. It's one minus the nth root, nth root, root, sorry, of S over P where n is your useful life, so uh, 1 minus the seventh root of 700 over 10,003. Uh, the way I like to do this usually is just take out the uh, root and just ends up being the same as 700 over 1,003 to the power of flip the 7, 1 over 7. And this gives us 0.316. So, example at year one, D1 is equal to 0.316. The book value at T minus 1, 1 minus 1, so the original price is 10,003. Gives us a value of 3161, which sort of corresponds to D, but it, it's it has to be D, so it's D. And that's how you solve a problem like this. It's probably one of the trickiest problems you're going to get in an exam. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.